Hello, welcome to the cinema. How are you? I'm Thank very you. good. So, Jürgen, your time at, at Liverpool, over eight years. You've had one of the most famous journeys of any Liverpool manager, so let's travel back to the start and explore what made your time here so special. Arriving in 2015, <laughs> that looks like I was here for 25 years. Um, it was just positive, too. I was really looking forward to it. I was super excited about the opportunity. I'm the normal one, maybe if you want this. <laughs> we wanted to go to a different country, we wanted to, to move to England, and obviously we didn't regret it for a second. What were your impressions of, of Liverpool as a city, as a football club, and, and what makes it so special? I could have grown up here, definitely. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a city person, so I'm obviously from, from countryside. So if I don't say hello to the lady in the street when I arrived at home, she called my mom and said, what's wrong with your boy? <laughs> so that would never happen in a big city. Um, but a little bit, Liverpool kept that. But the main thing is still the people, the togetherness, the connection, the heart. I knew I will love being here. It became home for us and that's pretty special and we feel really blessed and privileged that we got that opportunity. So you, you come to, to Liverpool and you walk out in front of a full Anfield for the first time. How was that? It was, so that was and is still a fantastic moment. Obviously, it's the historical place, and that's what you can sense, and you can breathe, and you can feel. It was absolutely everything you wanted to be. I really think there's a, there's a Liverpool way. When you win one title with Liverpool, it, it is worth as much as five with another club. Experience a good moment is really good. Experience a good moment with a lot of people together is a completely different level, and the same is with the bad moments. So that is really special. And as much as there have been incredible moments at, at Anfield, you've shared incredible moments with fans all around the world. In fact, we've worked out that you've travelled to 25 countries with Liverpool. So what's it like to travel the world with this club? The travelling is always the most enjoyable part of you. You tell me I was in 25 countries. I would never have put that number out. I would never thought it's that many. It's wonderful when you wear the when you, when you wear the Liverpool gear and you, you step out of a plane and um, wherever you go on this planet, people are already there, super enthusiastic, um, really happy to see you. If you played a minute for this club, people all over the world will never forget you. And you don't find them here around the corner, you will find them 7,000 miles away. Well, it looked like this yesterday when Manchester was here as well. And having this Liverpool passport, if you want, is really the entry to all different countries and continents. It's great. Really, the club is so big and you only realize it when you go in different countries and continents. Then you go in the dress room, it's wild and all these kind of things. Then you go in the hotel where the families and friends are waiting, it's wild and great. The, the calmest moment is actually really on flight. That's more where you reflect, where you think about what happens. Your journey with this club will live forever. You've built such a special connection, not just with the people of Liverpool, but with fans all over the world. What will you take away from Liverpool? In Memories. The, in the Loads. <laughs> we gave Liverpool the best time of our life. And the other way around as well. That, that's the best thing what I take from here, that I, I'm obviously allowed to think that I will never walk alone ever again in my life. Well, you've given us all a journey that none of us will ever forget. Thank you, Yogi. You're welcome. Thank you. It's not so important what people think when you come in. It's much more important what people think when you leave.